supinated uh, dumbbell press, just meaning that his palms are facing the ceiling, as you can see. And go ahead there, Todd, press it up, press it down. Keep the elbows tight to the body. Just a different grip for some variety of chest work. Usually this grip is much weaker for a majority of people. So training your weak links uh, definitely has a good correlation to developing the musculature. All right, now we're demonstrating a neutral grip dumbbell press. Again, keeping the elbows tight to the body, palms facing each other throughout. Go ahead, Todd. You'll also notice this is a great exercise for a tricep development in addition to a, a great chest development as well. Two more. Two. Excellent. Uh, Todd's going to demonstrate a semi-neutral grip dumbbell press. And imagine that's halfway between neutral and a pronated grip. A pronated grip would be your, your normal palm facing forward grip. And in this situation, we're doing what we call, again, semi-neutral with about the knuckle of your forefinger facing each other. And this is a, a very strong um, angle for most people. It takes a lot of pressure off the shoulders. So go ahead and demonstrate, Todd. All right, we're going to demonstrate now a uh, prone, prone meaning face down, uh, row, supinated row. So again, the palms are going to face the ceiling. A very challenging grip. And as I mentioned in the introduction, it's important to do this at a feverish pace. And one of the things that will allow you to do that is amino acid loading. Because when your energy reserves, when the muscles are depleted, the amino acid loading will help those replenish at a faster rate, keeping stress hormones down. So Todd, if you can go ahead and dress the bench here, uh, face down in a prone position. Gripping the dumbbells and rotating, yes, the palms face the ceiling or face forward, going up. And see how far Todd's elbows are coming back here. You want to make sure that you get a full range of motion and imagine that you're trying to squeeze a break between your shoulder blades. So we'll demonstrate here as Todd come up and then pause for two seconds on the top. One, two. You need to have your partner practice it. Go up again. One, two. So he should feel some tension in those fingers there. Um, and that gives you a good indication of how well the shoulders are retracting the rear musculature. And oftentimes I'll see is that one side will contract very well and the other will not. So have your partner take a look here. And if you're having some asymmetry in terms of one arm coming up more so than the other, that gives you some indications of what's going on in the shoulder girl. Excellent time. All right, and now what we're going to demonstrate here is a uh, prone neutral grip uh, dumbbell row. Todd, if you can go ahead and get set up to do that. Similar principles to the last exercise, you change in the grip so the palms face each other. And uh, this is fantastic. Go ahead and uh, lay down the bench, Todd, prone. And this is fantastic, especially for a crowded gym situation where you've got a lot of people trying to go through stations. All six of the exercises that we're doing in the first two sequences can be done with this one station just using a variety of different dumbbells. So Ty, go ahead and do the neutral grip here. Excellent. Palms facing each other. This should be a stronger grip than the supinated grip, the one we just did prior. And it is smart to do probably your weaker exercise up front and then pre-fatigue before doing the ones for where you're stronger. And that works very well with the strength curve as well as development. Again, making sure that you get full range of motion here, like you're trying to squeeze the grape in the middle of the back. One more. And done. Todd's going to demonstrate here a semi-neutral uh, prone dumbbell row. And just like we were doing semi-neutral with the pressing series, the knuckles of the forefingers will uh, face each other. If you take a look at the dumbbells on top, it'll give you a good idea. So Ty, go ahead and row up. Hold for two seconds. One and two. See how we're halfway between neutral and a regular pronated grip. Usually this grip will have more so the focus on the, on the upper back as opposed to some of the mid-back with some of the other exercises. And again, usually a very strong grip um, in the sequence. Okay, it's not excellent. And then just remember here, we went through the first uh, chest movements. You can put the dumbbells uh, down there, Todd. And then remember, through the sequence here, we had the chest movements. We're going to do A1, A2, A3, right in a row, with 45 seconds rest in between. So no reason really to get off the bench unless you need to change the dumbbells. 
and then we'll go right into the uh, prone dumbbell row, again, making it easy for one station so that you don't have anybody hassling you about changing station uh, during your workout. For the last, the last two exercises of the workout are going to be uh, triple stack strip sets. So Todd's going to do five push-ups, rest about 10 seconds back on his hands and knees, five more push-ups, rest about 10 seconds, rest on his hands and knees, and then do five more. So that's what we mean when you see 5-5-5 in the workout, and that, of course, can be changed by any sequence of numbers. So go ahead, Todd, and I've got five slow tempo push-ups for me, about three seconds on the way down. Pause one and up. Two, three, four, five. Considerably harder when you're doing it like Todd's doing here with a, a very uh, a disciplined tempo. And again, push-ups seem easy, but you do them at the end of a workout. Go ahead, Todd. But doing it at the end of a workout following a lot of other movements that involve both the triceps and the chest, this is a fantastic finishing movement. Another excellent uh, method to use in this situation is to change the width of your hand position just slightly between the different sets. So as you can see, Todd here, I'll change the width a little bit, give them a different cross section of the chest to work out in this final phase. And done. Uh, this is going to be a, a triple stack strip sequence with uh, pull-up variations. And we're going to start with a wide grip here. And again, we're going to go from the hardest to probably what you would call the easiest grip. So if I go ahead up. Excellent. Now, just bang out three reps here. We're going to pre-fatigue the rest of the back here for a vertical pulling sequence. Now, you can just go to a neutral grip, palms facing each other. Got a neutral grip inside here, palms facing each other. A much stronger grip. And go ahead. And one more. Excellent. And then finally, your traditional supinated uh, chin-up position, like so. And minimize the rest in between these sequences here. Makes for a great energy-dense workout or time-dense workout. And done. Uh, dumbbell press. Just meaning that his palms are facing the ceiling. Tighten the body. This is different in your weak legs. Uh, definitely has a good correlation to developing the muscles. Again, keeping the uh, elbows tight to the body, palms facing each other throughout. Go ahead, top development as well. I'm going to demonstrate a semi-neutral grip dumbbell press. And imagine that your normal palms facing forward grip. And in this situation, each other. And this is a, a very strong um, angle for most people. A uh, prone, prone meaning face down, uh, row, supinated yeah, row. So again, reduction. It's important to do this at a feverish pace. Those are depleted. The amino acid load will help those replenish at a faster rate. Keep it strong. the dumbbell. And see how far Todd's elbows are coming back. So we'll demonstrate here as Todd come up and then pause for two seconds on the top. You feel some tension in those fingers there. Um, and that gives you a good indication of how we're going to take a look here. And if you're having some asymmetry in terms of what we're going to demonstrate here is a uh, prone neutral grip uh, dumbbell row. I got actually changing change the grip so the palms face each other. And uh, especially for a crowded gym situation where you've got a lot of people trying to go, it should be a stronger grip than the supinated grip, the one we just did prior, and then pre-fatigue before doing the ones for where you're stronger. And that works very well to strength. Try to squeeze the grape in the middle of the back. One more. The knuckles of the forefingers will face each other. If you take a look, one and two, see how we're halfway between neutral and a regular front grip and mid back with some of the other exercises. First uh, chest movements, you then put the dumbbells uh, down there, Todd. And then on dumbbell row, again, making it easy for one station so that you don't have anybody cast. The last two exercises of the workout are going to be uh, triple stack on his hands and knees, five more push-ups, rest about 10 seconds, rest dash five, five dash five, five in the workout, and that, of course, can be changed by any sequence of numbers. Pause one and up. Two. Five. Considerably harder when you're pushing up slightly, so you do them at the end of the workout. Go ahead, Todd. 
we're doing at the end. Another excellent uh, method to use in this situation is to here I'll change the width a little bit, give them a different cross section of the chest to work out the spinal face. It's to be a, a triple stack strip sequence with uh, full up variations. So we're going to start with what you would call the easiest grip. So I go ahead up. We're going to pre-fatigue the rest of the back here for a vertical pulling sequence. Your palms facing each other. A much stronger grip. And go ahead. Excellent. And then finally, your traditional. And minimize the rest in between.